Um, there we go. Um, what's the battery? Okay, let me go ahead and start. Yeah, six oh one. Hold on, Fred. So through twelve. Six through twelve. Okay. Well, there were just a few questions, so we were going to... Okay. All right, so, y'all okay with consent and item 6 through 12? Yes. Sandy, you good? Yeah. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to the McIntosh County Board of Education business meeting for July 14th, 2022. We would please stand for the invitation and the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Our Father God, we do thank you and praise you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We ask you to continue to bless our school system, our readers, our students, and staff. And Father, we ask your blessing that we continue to make wise and best decisions for our students. These blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah. Okay, item number three, citizens address the board. No one. Okay. Item number four is approval of the business meeting agenda. Could I have a motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. McIver, second. Second. Second by Mr. Hewitt. All those in favor? Um, motion carries five zero. Okay, item number five is the approval to move items to consent agenda. If we could have a motion to move items six through twelve. Motion. Okay, motion by Mr. Straggles. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Hewitt. All those in favor? Okay, motion carries five zero. Okay, if we could have approval of those items six through twelve. A motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. McIver. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Hewitt. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Okay. Item number 13. The superintendent recommends approval of the purchase of six new buses not to exceed $925,680. So motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. Stregel. Second. Second by Mr. McIver. All right, discussion. Um, Dr. Poulos, this is where I came in late um, yes, Monday. Um, can you go through this again Absolutely. With, with the buses? So here's, here's what we have. The state has allocated um, a very large amount of money and given us six specific allocations for new buses. You know, everything runs off of allocations for our buses. So they gave us six more and said you can replace six buses. They gave us $528,000 plus, a little bit changed. Now, we have to pay the difference because the bus prices went up from like 125 to 155. So um, Tammy and I have talked about it. We will be able to pay for it. We won't pay for this probably until the next fiscal year. We'll mm -hmm. budget it out because it's going to take probably a year before we get these. But if we don't put our you know, name in there and put it in the queue, we just keep missing. Yep, yep, okay. All right. Plus, it's nice that we get six air-conditioned buses. And so that excess money that the state does, it will come from general? The, the uh, extra. The extra. It yeah. probably will end up coming out of local projects, but, you know, if we move stuff over there from it, we do have the ability to move back and forth. So as we get closer to the time where these things are going to arrive, we'll pinpoint exactly what pot of money to pull it up. And these are the same buses that we've been buying here well, lately? They're, we're buying the, the ones with the motor in the back. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. air conditioning, and, and so they're, yep. they'll be the best buses they've got on the market for us. Okay. Um, how many passengers? Uh, 84 passenger buses. Is that the max? Is 84 the max? Well, 84 is the max in the structurally, you know, but that that's kind of counting 
size of people and how how they can actually get in there but you know if you put a football team on there you're talking probably fifty but i mean that's that's uh that's how they could comfortably put like elementary kids you right. know what eighty four okay but you can't buy a hundred passenger or anything like that if if that's what we're looking at this is this is the max yeah i was just asking what the max was okay any more questions okay all those in favor of approving the buses Okay, motion carries five zero. All right, number fourteen. Superintendent recommends approval of computer replacement for school administrative staff not to exceed seventy one thousand dollars. So motion. Motion. Motion by Mr. Strabel. Second. Second. Second by Mr. McIver. Any discussion. Um, this money here, Dr. Pugles. Is it coming out of uh, technology? It's earmarked for it, yes, sir. Okay. And this is specific. You know, we rotate every, usually every four years. I think the computers and the systems are pushing five years. Mm -hmm. And these are for the schools, for their administrative staff. Okay. But we did, we budgeted this out because, again, they're out of warranty as they are right now, and this will bring us up to standard. All right. Okay. Any further questions? The computers. Okay. All those in favor? Okay, motion carries 5 0. All right, number 15. Superintendent recommends approval of the purchase of a real lawnmower not to exceed $33,000. Motion. motion? Motion by Mr. McIver. Second? Second by Mr. Strabos. All right, discussion on this item. I know this was a used um, mower. Go ahead, Sandy, sorry. Well, what about the warranty and so forth? Now, will this be the only real one more we have? I mean, this will be the newest model, I'm sure, but um, will this be expected to do all three schools or is this specifically for just one school? No, that we're going to, basically, this. This lawnmower will only be used for athletic fields. That's why it's designed specifically for that type of grass and that type of care. We have one, but it is in disrepair, so we're gonna have to bring it up. That allows us to have two. And I, I've got a meeting set up for hopefully next week with leader services. As they start to move out to the other end, they, they currently mow part of our fields as well. They, the football field at the high school, or at the middle school, for example. So we're gonna still have to keep two of them going we don't have one at all right now because it's in disrepair. Okay, thank you. Okay, any more questions on the lawnmower? Okay, all those in favor? Okay, motion carries 5-0. All right, number 16, superintendent recommends approval of adding 45 interactive panels from Todd Grant as surplus. Motion. Motion. Motion by Mr. Hewlett. Second. Second. Second by Mr. McIver. Any discussion on this item? Um, these, these that we're moving the surplus, are there, are any of these um, still active and, and um, in working order in case we need to replace them? Well, again, we've replaced every one of them with the new ones. Uh, Ms. McDonald, but these, there are some of them are, they're all various different statuses of whether or not they work or don't work. Um, you know, they're a little older, but this, but the replacement that we've already done and already installed, every school now has a universal same interactive panel. These particularly, like I said, some of them, the, the actual touch screen, it doesn't work anymore. Some of them, the sound doesn't work anymore. Some of them, the picture's a little faded. So there's a ver varying different things. We'll repurpose some of them if we can for different things that we might have like a secondary one. Um, we might make a little bit of money off of them, but I don't expect a lot because right now, technology wise, schools are pretty heavy with getting new stuff. Okay. Any more questions? All those in favor? Aye. Okay, motion carries 5-0.
Number 17, superintendent recommends approval of bus 29 to be added to a surplus, as surplus. Motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. Strobel. Second? Second by Mr. McIver. Discussion on this? Is this, um, this is a um, short bus, right? The little one? It's a little one. It's, it's got maintenance issues. Is that the one that came off Sapelo years ago? I can't tell you that. Yeah. It's a 2005, it. yeah. and it's uh, it's got over you know somewhere around 200,000 miles on it. Yeah. Um, it's going to probably cost us 10 or 15 thousand just to fix at this point, and so it's well worth just putting it on surplus and see if we get something out of it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Any more questions? <laughs> well, you don't. <laughs> Fighting over I might, it now. I might make well, it Fred's like, yeah, Fred's gonna make him camp right up. <laughs> All right, all those in favor? <laughs> Motion carries 5 0. All right, number 18, superintendent recommends approval of board policy GAMB possession of weapons by employees to be put on the table for 30 day review. Motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. McIver. Second? Second. Second. Mr. Hewitt, any discussion on this policy? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Number 19, superintendent recommends approval of board policy IDB, health and physical education, to be put on the table for a 30 day review. Motion? Motion. Motion by Ms. McDonald. Second? Second. Mr. Hewitt, any discussion on this policy? All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Number 20, superintendent recommends approval of board policy IEBA, unstructured break time to be put on the table for a 30 day review. Motion? Motion. Motion by Ms. McDonald, second. McIver, any discussion on this policy? All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Number 21, superintendent recommends approval of board policy. IKBB divisive concept complaint resolution to be put on the table for a 30 day review. Motion? Motion. Motion, Motion by Mr. McIver. Second. Second. Mr. Strabels. All right. Any discussion on this policy? All those in favor? Aye. I was waiting. Okay. Number 22. Superintendent recommends approval of board policy IKBC material harmful to minors complaint resolution to be put on the table for 30 day review. Motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. Strabel. Second? Second. Mr. Hewlett, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Number 23, Superintendent recommends approval of board policy JRP, Parents' Bill of Rights, to be put on the table for 30 day review. Motion? McIver, second. Second. Mr. Hewlett, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Okay, number 24, executive session. Could I have a motion to go to executive session for personnel and security issues? I move. Ms. McDonald, second. Second. Mr. McIver, all those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. All right, we will return. Hey, you just call me back. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, we would adjourn to executive session to discuss personnel and security issues. Can I have a motion to return to open session? Motion. Okay, motion by Mr. McIver, second. Second. Mr. Hewitt, all those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5-0. Um, oh, sorry. Superintendent recommends personnel report as submitted. Can I have a motion? Motion. Okay, motion by Ms. McDonald. Second. Second. Mr. Hewlett. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries 5-0. All right, any comments tonight? I have none. Who said? None. none? Nobody? All right. Good. All right, we're adjourned. Get better, Sandy. Okay. Okay.
Thank you. Bye.